every Monday we give away $25 to go to the Human Bean. Uh, they're just popping up locations all over the place. They're What's now popping? in Morro Bay, Atascadero, Templeton. Are they in the poke now? Is the poke open? I'm not entirely sure that it is, to be but, honest. But it will be very soon yes. if that's not the yes. case. I mean, for goodness sakes, it's uh, it's a coffee stand. It won't take them that long well, to get it no, open. Well, no, don't, no, don't say that because... I was speaking with the folks at the Human Bean, that uh, Templeton opening was. Oh, there's always a lot of it was bureaucratic pain. BS, yes, right? It was a Every, painstaking process. Anybody who has a business or has opened a business or knows somebody who has or helped, uh, you know, it's a pain in the ass. But uh, we're glad to see more human beings. Love the coffee. We love giving it away. It's $25 right now. That the powers that be don't have the same sense of urgency to open a business that the business owner has to open the business. It's almost like... Somehow they've got to meet in the middle. (laughs) What what always cracks me up about these towns is they want to, you know, build the infrastructure of the town and have more local businesses, yet they make it so hard Mm -hmm. with so many hoops. But, you know, whatever. That's that's Mm -hmm. not the business we're in. We're into giving them free stuff away. $25 to the human being. Being there, done that. Somebody asked me if you'd move to Templeton. I said, no. Oh, why I was saying you, I was a Templeton resident why, why would, during the why fair. Why would he have moved to Templeton? And they said, yeah, you, they were listening to the show, and you said you were now a Templeton resident, and they took issue with that. Just uh, for 12 days. You can't say that. You can't You can't just willy-nilly say, They oh, took a, issue with me saying that, I, that, like, they took issue with me moving to Templeton? Like, they didn't want me there? Well, no, that you claim Templeton for, like, that's like staying in a hotel and saying, oh, like me, I went to... I went to Disney World over over the you, summer. You went there twelve nights. I, I was there for like six nights though, or something like that. Yeah, but that's different. And, and I, I was I there for I, almost two weeks. Well, you know, me being a, a resident of Orlando now. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's different. I was living in Templeton, man, and I was digging it. All right, I'll I was give you living off it. Lost Tablas. It's Monday morning. It's early. We haven't done this for a long time because of our vacation schedules. Um, so I'm going to give you two hints. Okay. I haven't done this in 10 years, and it happened on Friday. All right, so you got to figure out what Jeff did on Friday that he hasn't done in over 10 years. 805-543-3693. Uh, it's going to score you a $25 gift card. You get to answer, ask one question in which I can answer yes or a no to. Okay? Um, then after answering that yes or no, then uh, you, take, you get to take yes. And if you guess correctly on what I did that I have not done in over 10 years, and um, I did it on Friday night, then you will um, score that $25 gift card to Zahim and Bean. 805-543-3693. So let me, I'll show you how this works, all right? Did you do this? Inside your home. No. So now we know we did it outside his home. Something he hasn't done in 10 years, he did it for the first time. Hmm. Now we go to the phones and see if somebody can figure this out. Hmm. Hi, good morning. What is your first name? Uh, hi, I'm Alan. How's it going? Alan, hi. we're doing great. Hi, did, Alan. So uh, let, let's recap real quick. Jeff says he hasn't done this. And over 10 years, he did it for the first time in 10 years on Friday night. And I just asked him if he did it inside his home, and he said no. So now you get to ask him one question he can answer yes or no to that you think might so, help you solve um, this. Okay, so was it, was it uh, good for your health? What you did on Friday night for the first time in over 10 years, was it good for your health? No. Sorry, was that a no? That yeah. was a no. No, but it also wasn't, it's not crucial to your health. I mean, it's just... Are you, you, uh, did you, did you smoke a cigarette? No, I did not smoke a cigarette. Good guess, though. Yeah, that's a good one. Are you good English? Because it has been a while. Are you English? Uh, I'm Australian. Oh. Do they call them fags in Australia? <laughs> uh, yeah, they, they might call them fags in Australia, yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> Hey, no, he did how, not smoke a feel, fag. How do you feel about COVID policies in your in your country right now? I think they're crazy. Thank goodness I'm here. Yeah. Okay. And that, they, they've, got wacker, they've gone wackadoodle down there. Yeah, just been paying close attention to what's going on in Australia, and they're With, doing wild stuff. Because I'm afraid it's coming here. <laughs> That's why. Right. 
Yeah, and they've, they've done the same in New Zealand as well. So, uh, <laughs> Sandy? Yeah, they, I mean, if I'm, not, if I'm on the beach with my family and a helicopter comes flying up to me with a loudspeaker telling me to get off the beach, I'm looking for another country to live in. Right, yeah. It's, it's uh, a bit surprising. It's, it's definitely surprised me. Initially, you know, 18 months ago, I thought it was brilliant. They right. did a really smart thing, but then they just, been slow to roll out the vaccinations um, and nobody's got it virtually nobody's got it so it's kind of like they think it's just going to disappear oh but it's, hmm. it's, so not it's a little bit it's a little bit different than it is here then because a lot the majority of americans have been vaccinated right so. and also a lot of people have gotten it here as well yeah yeah so uh you know just like any other thing that we've had to deal with for the last couple hundred years you know and yeah, they. Uh, I thought they were just going to initially lock down last year, and then eventually um, start rolling out the vaccinations and and take care of it. But uh, yeah, so there you go. My sister's a nurse in Tasmania, so so she's had the vaccination for months, um, and uh, she's been she's been giving them, but it's just they've just been really slow to get them. I see. Well, thanks for the insight. Yeah, and you can call back, by the way. So he did not smoke a cigarette. <laughs> Griffey fan says, "Bloody L, mate." <laughs> <laughs> Beaver parachute from Santa Cruz says uh, he got laid. No, he's had kids in the last ten years. So. Oh yeah. So that the, the I mean, proof is in the. I mean, we're just guessing it happened that way. I guess there's other medical yeah. procedures, but so um, did it outside. Uh, um, it wasn't necessarily great for my health, but it wasn't bad for my health either. It may, you know what? For my mental health, it was probably good. So I, I should have answered that yes, but I mean, it really wasn't good for. I mean, it, it was just uh, all right, I guess. I mean, it was just you know. I mean, it was, I guess, like I said, mental health maybe a little bit good. Um, did it on Friday night, and it's the first time I've done it in over ten years. Eight oh five five four three thirty six ninety three. We're giving away a twenty five dollar gift card. You can use at any human being location. Here on the Central Coast, uh, you just have to figure out what it is that Jeff did uh, for the first time in 10 years. It wasn't bad. It wasn't good for his health. We're just trying to help you be a better human being. Been there, done that. It's one question, one guess. You have to figure out what Jeff did for the first time in 10 years on Friday night. He did it outside. He didn't do it. 805-543-3693 are the numbers to get through. If you figured out, you get a $25 gift card. We got Charlie on the... You want to do it? You want to take Charlie? Mm, not sure. Yeah. All right, I Charlie. Guess. One question, one guess. What do you think? I think he... Uh, no, ask a question first, Charles. What did he do? No, no, no. Answer, ask a question that I can only answer with a yes or a no. Why? Why are you trying with him? What? How, what do panhandlers do? <laughs> what do they do, Charlie? Yes. They beg for change. Thank you so much. No, sorry. Oh, all right. You can't, man. It's just it's partying too much. Charlie's party. This too is much. the simplest of simplest. Like my kids play this. In like my youngest is in like the kindergarten before kindergarten. They have that. Now. Yeah. And uh, they play games like this. Yeah. So it should be Charlie. Even all the damage that has been done to that brain over the last twenty years. 
still should be able to ask a question in which the answer is yes or no to. Yeah. Uh, hello. Yeah, we hear you there. Sorry, we're just finishing our, our conversation. That's fine. <laughs> you're, allowed to, you're allowed to conversate with us on the phone. What is your good name? Morning. I'm Ricky, and I got my friend Cindy here. Oh, okay, good. You guys both want to play? <laughs> yeah, we want to play. Sure. All right, you can both ask a question and take a guess then. What the hell? Oh. We'll just save a phone call. Oh. Okay, uh, Rick's first question is, did it have anything to do with cannabis? No. Oh, that's another great question. Nice job, Rick. No. But no, uh, he doesn't smoke weed. Question. Do you want did to take it happen? Oh. Did it happen after dark? No. Dark. All right, so this My is something that he hasn't done in 10 years. Did it for the first time Friday night uh, My outside. Guess was, My guess was stay up after midnight. But oh. it happened if it didn't happen at night. Well, we're stumped. We're okay. Stumped. All right. Free help. Well, think about it. You can try back. All right, we will. I kind of like that collective. I, didn't, what is it? I wasn't on board at first. Passing the phone? Yeah. Like passing the J. <laughs> <laughs> Did have something to do with cannabis? Here, let me pass my phone. But it wasn't. you didn't smoke weed? No. <laughs> no, in fact, I, I had to think about the, the... If you know Jeff at all, he's a super big-time dad, family man. There's no way his wife has probably ever even smoked weed. And uh, being from very conservative... At the fantasy football draft on Saturday, me and another uh, league mate, we had this long discussion. Because some people, you know, it's California, some people smoke weed. Other people don't smoke weed, and there's a reason why I don't smoke weed. My tolerance is terrible for it. Yeah. Whatever the, what, whatever. So you didn't smoke any weed at the fantasy football draft party? No, uh uh-uh. No. No, in fact, I uh, think we watched a movie later. Was anybody like, passing a J around the, at the fantasy? Because I didn't get to go this year. No, I, nobody passes J's anymore. That's not true. Well. That's yeah, not true. Yeah, I, was but, just, I was just on vacation. We were, we were passing them around. Part of the reason why I didn't go to the fantasy football draft because I had a friend that had a COVID scare, and I uh, we'd, pass the we'd, J? we'd passed the J around. So uh, even though it was That's last very irresponsible last week, was it? Yeah. Well, he's found fully vaccinated, and I was tested negative, so I thought it was we were being very responsible. Uh, just ask yourself, WWCTD. But let me give you the let me give you the the, what, what, the short of it, and the short right. is he tested negative, and so did I. So nobody had it; he just had a sinus infection. WWCTD. What would Corey Taylor do? Corey here. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't pass that as well. I wish flip. I had better news. <laughs> well, how do you think he got it? <laughs> and he's fully vaccinated. I think he learned his lesson. I think if you are a member of Slipknot, it's just an oh. automatic uh, given that you will have uh, illnesses hey, I'm not on perfect. the edge. I'm not perfect by any stretch of the means. 805-543-3693. In fact, one uh, question, one guess is pretty much what we like to call this. Uh, I will say that most of the people that did what I did on Friday night, it did go into the darkness. It's just for me, um, I, it, I, I left before it got dark. Do you think I've done this in the last 10 years? No. Uh, no, I don't think so. Really? I think last time I did it, I was with you. It was a while back. Wow. All right. Raise up next. We got an open line at 805-543-3693. Good morning, Raymond. Good morning. What's your question for Jeff? Uh, what has it has it anything to do with riding a motor vehicle? Were you riding anything that had a motor to it? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I was not. I was not. Okay. I was okay. No, he was not riding anything that had a motor on it. Oh, shoot. Ray, you still there? Yeah. You get to guess, though, if you want. Uh, I'm going to say, uh, um, yeah, I'm still here. Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, it's not writing, so it's got to be something to do with outdoor activity, right? He did do it outside. Yes. Uh, horseshoes. That's <laughs> I think of. Did not you play horseshoes. horseshoes? Not horseshoes. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Ask good questions. Hi, what's your name? Jared. What's your what's your question, Jared? Does it have to do with hot rods? Yes. It does. You went to the Toscadero Cruise night. That's what I did, Jared. Nice job, you're a winner. <laughs> yeah, you get yourself a twenty five dollar gift card to the human being. Right on. Thank you, you guys. Did you go, Jared? 
I did. Where were you at? Where did you watch the whole thing? I was standing right next to you. That's a lie. Why didn't you say hello? Because <laughs> he knows you don't like being bothered. <laughs> uh, no, I was on Entrada, the little one-way street there by street side. Oh, okay. All right. So you weren't you weren't standing. I remember I went That's to That's a good this. spot to have, by the way. I just realized that when I was walking back to my car, because uh, I had my son with me. He's four, so... You know, it was. It took about. We saw about 150 cars, and he's like, "Can we go now?" Um, so, uh, you know, it, and we did the thing where we got there way too early and sat there, and he was bored from sitting there for 30 minutes to 45 minutes before any cars started running. But the yeah, that whole downtown loop of uh, of the of the cruise nights, the place to be. Yeah, it's a lot of fun down there. I'm glad that they're doing it. So yeah, I am too. Um, we were we were um, perched out in front of the uh, sunken gardens there, um, watching it from there because that's where I thought the best vantage point. That's would where be. we saw it last time was. Yeah, no, that's not, not the best. The best place, place would be any one of those businesses downtown because okay. they 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 circle it through downtown on Entrada there and then over to Traffic Way and then it goes. A lot of good down. cars show up. Yeah, it was it was impressive. Yeah, it was good. It was okay. impressive. Oh, good. There's this one. So I remember when we went 10 years ago, one of the coolest vehicles in it was one of our other station vehicles. It was an old school lowered, like, yeah. El Camino converted to a van or something. We, I can't we, don't, we don't have that anymore, unfortunately. Yeah, no, it's, it's gone. It was kind of a cool looking deal. Now we just have, what do we have now? We have, like, the uh, new. Uh, a panel van? A pan, well, it's the new panel vans, too. They're lame looking. It looks like a. A, a, a high top sneaker. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Well, it looks like, not an air. What are those, uh, what are those, the Sprinter vans? So I will it looks like this, a, a miniature Sprinter van. I will tell you this. We have that van, but. There was uh, an entry in the, uh, and it was genius entry, Dr. Dent, who, I guess he comes around. And, and he, he takes dents out, He yeah. puts a suction cup on your, on your car, and he pulls a dent out. Dr. Dent was driving his van exactly like the one that we have around the thing. But I was like, thinking, that's kind of genius because he's got, you know, 300 people here that drive hot rods, and they want their dents taken out right away, um, you know. And he sticks out like a sore thumb. Yeah, well, yeah, totally, because he was driving a new car. There was no other new cars in this thing. <laughs> well, you got that $25 to go to the human being. Check them out right now. Morro Bay, Atascadero, Templeton, and they're coming to Lompoc as well.